Hello, 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 hello. Thank you all for joining in. Thank you all that are tuning in live. And thank you all that will watch the replay. I am going to go ahead and get started because it is 8 o'clock and I do not want to go over my time. So again, I thank you all for joining in to this weekly, daily, nightly study. It's the 10-day study of the Proverbs 31 woman. A 10-day study starting tonight going all the way through May the 31st from 8 to 8.30 p.m. nightly. And I am thankful for you all that joined in. This is for married women, women that are engaged, women that desire to be married, um, and women just, just want the information on how to be a virtuous woman, a virtuous wife. A little bit of history about myself. I'll be married to my amazing husband. This October of this year will be 30 years, and we have four adult daughters. So I have a little bit of experience in marriage, a little bit of experience in being a virtuous wife. Proverbs, the Proverbs 31 woman is something that I jumped into many, many, many years ago. I want to say maybe year 10 of me being married, just wanting to know how to be a wife, you know, the characteristics of being a wife, shedding some old mindsets as it pertains to being a godly wife. And um, Proverbs 31 was something that I really um, try, try my best daily to mirror try my best daily to read it, understand it, um, and just ex ed model what that is. Try to live up to the characters listed in Proverbs 31. So tonight's study is going to be on verse 10. Let me get my glasses. And Proverbs 31 verse 10 says, Who can find a virtuous wife for her worth is far above rubies? Who can find a virtuous wife for her worth is far above rubies? That's the King James Version. The Amplified, Amplified Version says, An excellent woman, one who is spiritual, capable, intelligent, and virtuous. Who is he who can find her? Her value is more precious than jewels, and her worth is far above rubies. The Easy English Bible Version says, How difficult it is to find a wife who is truly wise, she is worth much more than valuable jewels. And the NIV version says, a wife of noble character who can find, she is worth far more than rubies. So, a virtuous wife, verse 10. Virtuous is having or showing high moral standards. Standards are a level of quality or attainment, an idea or a thing used as a measure, a norm or a model. Like I said in my introduction, um, Proverbs, the Proverbs 31 woman, verses 10 through 31, is a model that I model after, that I, I try to um, use as an example um, in my wifeness, in my wifiness, okay? So when it talks about her rubies are worth, her value is worth, she is valuable, her worth is far above rubies. I looked up rubies because I didn't really know what a ruby, well, I knew it was a gem or a stone, but I didn't really know, like, why does he say she's worth more than rubies? So I looked up rubies. Rubies are beautiful, rare, and durable. They are the most valuable gem. Rubies are stunning in color. And their significance, rarity, and durability are only a few reasons why it's valued. Rubies were associated back in the day with royalty and nobility, making it a symbol of wealth and power. Rubies are considered rare because although they can be found in many parts of the world, their scarcity makes it highly coveted, which drives up its values. Rubies are one of the hardest gemstones making it ideal for everyday wear, which ensures that it will last for generations to come. Rubies are resistant to scratching and chipping. So that lets me know right there, since he's saying, God is saying, who can find a virtuous wife for her worth, our worth as wives, 
is far above rubies. So everything that I've just read, we're far above the beauty of a, a ruby. We're rare, we're durable, we're the most valuable. We, 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 we compass them all. So that's where we have to place our value. We have to walk in the value that God is saying in Proverbs 31 and verse 10. We have to get that in our own mind, our own worth as compared to that. God is saying that's who we are. He said, my, our worth, my worth, my worth is far above rubies. Rubies are the most valuable gem. My worth is far above the ruby. And that's how we have to think. And that's how we have to look at it in order to be a virtuous wife. So that's the mindset that we have to have as we become wives, as, as we are wives, as we desire to be wives. We have to develop the mindset that my worth is far above rubies, far above rubies. Thank you all for jumping in. I can't see who's on, but we are discussing Proverbs 31 verse 10 tonight. So we have to look at the fact that the Bible, God is saying our worth is far above rubies. That worth does not, is not predicated on what our husbands do, what our boyfriends do, or what our fiancés do. This is the value that I hold dear to myself. This is the value that I know of myself. I am worth more than rubies. So that's how we have to go into this. So now... Let's get into the virtue that's listed in verse 10. I believe the virtues that's listed in verse 10, the virtues of a woman here are a righteous woman and a woman of valor. Righteous means morally right and a, a righteous woman does right and follows the rules, the requirements of being a godly woman, the requirements that God puts on her as it pertains to the Bible. That's being a righteous woman, morally right, just, just, just right. Um, righteous, a righteous woman loves the Lord and seeks to live a life to be righteous before God. A righteous woman works on her relationship with God and follows his commands and instructions. She also imitates, remember I talked about the Proverbs 31 virtuous wife scriptures being a model. She imitates his character and behavior and learns to love others so that she can be the salt and light of the world. So that is a righteous, the righteous part of the virtuous woman. That is the virtue I believe found in verse 10. A virtuous woman is a righteous woman. She does right. She has good morals. She strives to seek. She seeks to live a life of righteousness before God. And she works on her. She continually works on her relationship with God, no matter what, no matter any circumstance. I also believe that a a righteous, a woman of um, virtue is also a woman of valor, meaning that she has strength of mind and strength of spirit. She's firm. She's all, she's a nurturer and she's also a warrior. She understands meekness. She, uh, I believe a virtuous woman knows that she is a nurturer and she also knows that she's a warrior, but she also understands through her relationship with God, how to exercise meekness. She knows how to put her strength under control. See, a, 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 a virtuous wife, a virtuous woman is, is, is not a weak woman. She understands her strength, but she knows how to put her strength under control. That's called meekness. She knows she can do it. She knows she can get up in there and test some stuff up and she knows her, what her strength and what her strength can do. But she understands timing, placing the right time. Um, she, she understands, um, um, meekness. She knows how to put her strength under control. That's a righteous woman. That's a woman of value. She knows she's strong, but she knows how to, how to put it in the right place, where to use it and how to use it. So those are the two virtues that I found in verse 10 of Proverbs 31. A virtuous and righteous woman is a discerning and capable woman who knows how to execute her plans. She's very sure. She's, she's a very sure woman. She's a very capable woman and she knows how to discern. She, 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 she taps into her spirit of discernment that is given to us by God. She is strong and she's capable of keeping a good home. 
That's not necessarily just talking about being clean and, and groceries. She, she watches over the affairs of her household. Her household is family, her family, anybody who lives in her household. She watches over them. She keeps a good home. Everybody is fed. Everybody um, is nurtured. Everybody is taken care of. She has her hands in everything that's within her household. She runs her household well. She intentionally runs her household. No matter what, nothing gets in the way of her running her household. Not a job if she works outside of the home or she has other interests and other things outside of the home. Nothing gets in the way of a virtuous woman's running her household because that's the priority. Her priority is God. We're not going to you know, be that deep. We know the priority is God. But the second priority is her husband and her household. So nothing gets in the way of a virtuous woman taking care of her household. Okay, a biblical example of a virtuous, a righteous woman of valor is Ruth. If you study Ruth, look up Ruth. Look up the story of Ruth. I don't have time to go into her story, but Ruth lived her life with resourcefulness, compassion, courage, wisdom, and strength. That's an example. So again, the Bible talks about us um, exemplifying and, and using, you know, Proverbs 31 as a model. Again, you can look up Ruth. She was a model of compassion and virtuousness and righteousness. So we have all kinds of examples on how to be a woman of virtue. Some of us look at our mothers. Some of us look at our aunties. Some of us look at, you know, social media. You know, I used to watch Clear Huxtable. I used to love Clear Huxtable. Um, and we pick up things. You know, we pick up virtues. We pick up characteristics of what we feel is a, a good wife. Or a good woman of God, um, whatever it is, where whatever it is that you are modeling and that you are using as an example, just make sure it lines up with the Word of God. Make sure the person that you are following, that you um, what does it say in here? You imitate has is a has a relationship with God, and there's nothing wrong with you admiring another woman of God, another woman that you feel has the virtues of a a virtuous woman or a woman of valor. There's nothing wrong with that. It's nothing wrong with that at all. Just eat the fish, pick out the bones. You know, everybody, nobody's perfect. But if you see something in someone else or something, it's nothing wrong with you trying to emulate that, or imitate that as it lines up with the word of God. Okay. So I have a couple of questions um, that I want to um, ask you. And one of the questions is a lot of us, and we're wives, we're mothers, we already run in households. So a lot of us are already exemplifying the characteristics of a virtuous wife or a virtuous woman. We already, we're already doing half of what Proverbs 31 verses 10 through 31 is talking about. We're already doing it. So what ways, and I'm asking you to ask yourself this question, what ways are you exemplifying righteousness or virtuousness in your character, behavior, and actions right now, today, in your everyday life, in your everyday activities, how are you already exemplifying the virtues of a virtuous woman or a righteous woman or a woman of valor? I guarantee you can look in your life right now and given the definitions that I listed earlier, virtuous is having a showing high moral standards and standards is a level of quality or attainment, a model. So what ways are you already exemplifying being a virtuous wife, being a virtuous woman? I guarantee you, you can find it. So I want you to write that down for yourself. These are the ways that I am already a virtuous woman. These are the ways that I exemplify the characteristics of a, a virtuous wife. We're already doing it. And I want to encourage you to, to understand that your worth is far above rubies. It's far. You have to walk like that. You have to walk with the confidence, in the confidence, knowing that you are lining yourself up with what God is saying in the word of God. And for the sake of this study, you are lining yourself up with Proverbs 31.10, a virtuous wife. Your worth is far above rubies. You walk in standards. You walk in the characteristics of God. You, um, Like it said over here, you love the Lord and you seek a life to live a life of righteousness before God. You work on your relationship with the Lord 
all the time, continually work on your relationship with the, with the Lord and you follow his commands and his instructions. You also imitate his character and behavior no matter what. Those are the characteristics and the virtues of a virtuous wife. Righteousness and being a woman of valor. Now, those of you that are listening, those of you that will watch the replay, put what your, the virtues that you find in Proverbs 31 verse 10 in the comment sections. I want to hear what you feel the virtues are. I'm feeling that the virtues of a virtuous wife in verse 10 is righteousness and a woman of valor. Um, righteousness is just morally right. She seeks to do right all the time, no matter what, no matter what. Um, she, she follows the rules. She does what is, what's supposed to be done. She doesn't, she's not slight and she's not weak. She's firm in her decisions and she uses her discernment and she knows that she knows her strength and she knows when to use it and when not to use it. To me, that's, that's a woman of virtue. That's a virtuous, virtuous woman. And the second question that I want to leave you with is how can you incorporate righteousness and virtuousness into your daily living right now. So if you're if you're a woman and that you're seeking to be a virtuous wife, you're seeking to be a virtuous woman, a woman of strength, a woman of righteousness, a woman of valor, how can you, what ways, given the definitions and what we have discussed here tonight, what ways can you implement being a virtuous wife? What things do you have to change? What do you have to stop doing? What, um, type of thinking do you have to change to become a virtuous wife, to become someone who, and then the first 10 verses is King Lemuel's mother telling him on what to look for and, and who, what type of woman not to get caught up with. That's verse one through nine. So if, if you have someone looking for a virtuous wife for the ladies that are desiring to be married, if you have someone looking for a virtuous wife, what is that man going to find when he finds you? Because it said, he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor. So to me, the favor that he is obtaining, obtaining is a virtuous wife. So if you are waiting for a male, a, a mate or a husband and he's seeking you, he's going to find you. What is he going to find? Like what characteristics in you is going to make him want to wife you? That's what they say today, right? Wife you. What is he going to find for those of you that are designed to be married? So it's nothing wrong with working on the characteristics. You don't have to be married to be virtuous. You don't have to be married to walk in righteousness. You don't have to be married to be a woman of valor. You don't have to be married to know your strength. You don't have to be married to know that your worth is far above rubies. You don't have to be married, but understanding that already puts you ahead of the game because you're already walking in the Proverbs 31 woman, you're already, you're already practicing it. It's already a part of your character. It's already a part of your integrity. It's already how you roll. So those of you that are designed to get married, when he does find you and find his good thing, you're already, you already virtuous. You already know that your worth is far above rubies. And when he finds you, he's going to connect with your value because we're going to already be walking in the value that's far above rubies like the word of God says. So I just want to encourage you to, if you, those of us that are married and we're trying to live a life of, of, of virtue, a life of righteousness, um, to become that virtuous wife as it pertains to God and to please God and also our husbands, you know, and to be that example to our children of what a virtuous wife looks like, then I encourage you to pay attention to these, these, this nightly study that I'm gonna be doing starting tonight. Um, for 10 days going through May the 31st from 8 to 8 30. And, and if you, if you do miss it or you don't watch it or however, just read Proverbs 31 verses one through 31 and just begin to research it and study it and then implement some of the things that they're saying. It's Bible is saying in Proverbs 31. It's, it's not that hard, but it is a lot of it takes a mindset change. A lot of it takes us understanding the word of God and then applying it to our lives. Those of us that desire to be a virtuous wife, a virtuous woman, or a woman of righteousness, or a woman of valor, those of us that desire that, 
then we'll read and we'll study and we'll do what we need to do, make the necessary changes to become a wife of virtue, a virtuous wife. Okay, so those are the things that, um, the two virtues that I found in Proverbs 31 verse 10 is righteousness and also a woman of valor. Righteousness is being morally right. A, right, a virtuous woman is just right. She's gonna do what's right because it's right. No matter who's looking, no matter who's around, it doesn't matter. She's going to do right because it's right. And just think about it. We all have an audience of one. God knows all. He sees all. So we want to be pleasing to God at all times. So being morally right and conscious is pleasing to God. You do right and you follow the rules. That's a, that's a virtuous woman. That's a woman of virtue. That's a righteous woman. And then a woman of valor that I find in Proverbs 31 is a woman of valor is she she has strength of mind and strength in her spirit she's firm she's a nurturer but she's also a warrior but she knows how to place her strength under control she knows when to use her strength and she knows when to not use her strength so those are the two virtues that i found in proverbs 31 verse 10. so i thank you all for tuning in tonight um, those of you that are watching the replay, I, I thank you for tuning in, watching the replay, replay. Tomorrow night, May the 23rd, will be night two, and we will be discussing verses 11 and 12, the virtues found in verses 11 and 12. So set your reminders, set your little notification to remind you that we'll be on again tomorrow night from 8 to 8.30, and we're going to be discussing um, verses 11 and 12. 12. Okay. Y'all have a beautiful evening and I'll see y'all tomorrow night. Bye.